Hello Newcastle fans, TV, and yes, we've won. We have won 4-1 against Redden, and that was a goal which you've just seen from Dwight Gale, which I captured on pre-kick. There's going to be a lot more of them on the match experience, which will be a different video, which will be coming in the next day or two. And I've got also got fan cams as well. So just before we go any further, I never do shout out ever, but I just want to give a massive shout out to little Stan, who I met tonight. He actually made my night, he actually made my night the most I've uh, been noticed tonight. Uh, people coming up me about seven or eight times tonight. So, but Stan, Stan is just, I don't know how old you are, Stan. But you'll see in the comments, you'll comment, but he's about 10 year old. Bless him. He made my now he coming up with him, his little face beating. Bless him. That, that's the beauty of the, the nice side of YouTube. So, just goes to show you know, that we're not all, um, don't want to swear. But, you know, let's move on. So, we won, we won 2 1. Absolutely thrilled. Now, First things first, let's have a look at the lineup. I mean, the lineup shocked me when I seen it coming into St. James's and I, on the way to St. James's and I seen the lineup. There was Dummett as captain. I thought, what? Dummett captain. So obviously that meant Lascelles was dropped to the bench. We knew he would come on later on in the game, didn't we? Uh, Keewan Clark, so I thought, oh no, because there's another Mike Williamson here. Because I don't read Keewan Clark. The jury's out for there to prove me wrong. Same as Jamal Lascelles. I think he's still got an error in him. Although he's the captain, he's the future, him and um, Bemba. But. And Nita coming right back, that was a slight surprise as well. I thought Yamat yeah, would keep his position. Richie is right wing, we would expect. Perez come in, which we would expect. Gufran, left wing, really shocked me. That was the biggest one. <sighs> right, so, anyways, the first 25 minutes, we played really well. We had the disallowed goal, which is the Dwight Gale handball, which for one minute, one moment, we thought that was going to go ahead, but it would come back and disallowed. We scored through Isaac Hayden from a Shelby free kick, which wasn't really cleared. Their, their goal, their penalty, from what I've seen in St. James' Park, I haven't seen any highlights, so bear with me if I haven't seen any. Looked like Kieran Clark snapped him in half, and it was a penalty, and it looked like a penalty in my eyes. So, but the thing is, three games running now, Newcastle have conceded on the stroke half time. It's you kind of keep doing that. What is it? Is it is it that mental attitude about it? I, you just kind of do that. So going into half time, the whole ground was frustrated. I even heard some boos. Do you know that the um, how the Gallagher t comes on in the Millburn? Was that that section, the Millburn section, was starting to boo? And I thought, yeah, get your heat screwed on, man. It's half time. That proper frustrated us. So, anyways, we scored very early, very quick at, in, in the second half, which I was thrilled about. So Matt Ritchie scored a penalty of his own. And then Dwight Gale, you've seen it there, beat of a free kick. And then he also scored later on, so if, with a tap in as well. Also came notable mentions that during the game when we were winning, Rafa switched the system to a 3-5-2 with about 15 to 20 minutes later. He brought on Lascelles, he brought on Cole back as well and he went very, I wouldn't say very defensive, but he went defensive minded. I think just getting the three points on the board was the most important things, but it looks like the scoreline was emphatic. Bar a 15 minute spell, Newcastle dominated all of the game as well. Looking ahead now, going ahead to Bristol City, um, I think this, there will be a couple of changes again on Saturday because the, the, it's literally we've got Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday over fixtures because we've got the Cheltenham game after Bristol at home. So uh, keep an eye out for the fan cams as well. If you were at the game, let me know your thoughts of everything as well. I thought Iosi Perez had a poor night as well, I have to say. That's uh, sells and goalkeeper. His clearances weren't great either, very casual. But as I mentioned, fan cams are coming. There's a special collaboration with another YouTube tune, another YouTuber who's a tune fanatic like myself, does Newcastle, is very similar to myself. You probably know who that is, so keep an eye out for that. And of course, the match experience as well. Hope you like the video. Uh, it's quick because I've just got in from, uh, from the match. I've been Lee on behalf of Newcastle Fans TV. See you later.